Sometimes we cry with you. Each time, though, we hope to open up your heart so I can find the perfect song for you. The phone lines are open, so give me a call and let's share. <laughs> Hi, is this Emily? How can I make you feel special tonight? Hi, Cordelia. I'm so glad I was able to get through to you tonight. Oh, <laughs> Yes, I'm so blessed to be with you tonight as well. What's going on with you? What's on your heart's mind tonight? <laughs> uh, um, I guess I'm on my heart's mind tonight. Mm -hmm. um, mm. So I'm going through a divorce and I have two kids and sometimes I, after I get them down at night, I just like sit by myself and think, like, is this it? You know, I'm worried that, like, there's no one out there for me, you know? Emily, Emily, Emily. So, you're going through a painful divorce. I think you and I both know that the last thing that you should be worrying about is finding someone else. You know, as well as I know, it's far better to be alone than in a relationship where you feel lonely. Um, yeah, it's just, I worked too You know, so when, when I got out of my third divorce, <laughs> I really have lost all hope. But now, when I look around at all that I have, my 12 beautiful children, <laughs> my children's children, my five dogs, yeah. my three cats, my three Clydesdale horses, <laughs> and my pride and joy, Kendra, the emu. You know, I realize that I do have all the love I need tonight and every night. And it's a lot of work, but it feels like Christmas every day in my house. And I know you'll feel the same way too, Emily. You just have to believe. Uh, yeah, okay. It's just like finding childcare is a struggle, and I, I have a really hard time. <laughs> That's the spirit, Emily. <laughs> um, will you be able oh, to play a song? Sorry, no. Oh, gosh, we're running out of time. I'm so sorry. Got to take another call, Emily. Good night. It's your radio friend. <laughs> The tender stories of your life, we're playing music to soothe a busy world. <laughs> All right, now we have Steve. Welcome aboard, Steve. What stories from you, your heart, would you like to share tonight? Uh, uh, hi, Cordelia. Um, so I'm calling tonight because uh, I have so much love in my heart tonight, Cordelia. I'm, uh, I'm planning this weekend uh, to propose to the lady in my life. Okay. That sounds like a great story for you, Steve. Just great. Well, what's your sweetheart's name, Steve? Uh, her name is Cassie. Oh, Cassie. <laughs> Cassie. That sounds great, Steve. Almost like Cordelia, but Cassie. <laughs> Tell me about her. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we 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 found each other a little later in life. Uh, got to know each other so well over the past year. You know, she's a wonderful lady, first person to ever really understand me. And uh, you know, last month I even named the star after her. Oh, Steve, the romantic. 
You know, my second husband, he was a romantic too. Oh, uh, he built a scale model of the solar system for me. He had to fly out to Nevada to find land that was big enough so he could build it for me. And then he had to have a helicopter fly over, follow up so he could take a picture of it. Oh, it was way too large to see from the land. <laughs> then he dedicated the whole thing to me. Oh, I just remember that it meant so much to me that he literally claimed the solar system at large for what? Uh, uh, and I am sure that Cassie, in her way, is probably very also impressed that she went on the internet and paid. I'm <laughs> sorry, <laughs> her name. Okay? That's super sweet, Steve. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I guess I could have done more. You know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, that marriage was over six months ago, and I found out he was sleeping with a helicopter pilot. <laughs> So Steve, I'm going to play a song for you and Cassie. Uh, okay, well, I'm, uh, if you don't mind, I wanted to... Steve, sorry. I'm so sorry. We have another call. I don't it seems like we have another call. I'm so sorry, Steve. I'll play something for you later, maybe. I don't know. We have another call. sharing our feelings, our stories, and our hearts tonight. Is this common? Uh, yes. Hi, Cordelia. I listen to you every week. You sure do. <laughs> What's in your heart tonight, Carmen? I want to serve you up a cup of warm, sweet, comfort, and tenderness tonight. Hi, oh, Cordelia. Yes, tell me more. Yeah, it's been a whirlwind. There's a special someone in my life, Audrey. Mm. She and I met three months ago. It was the craziest thing. We went, we met in line at the DMV. Oh my gosh, I can already tell this is a story of fate. Yes, it really is. See, she was, uh, you know, she was trying to register her deceased aunt. You know, with my that. first husband and I, ours was a meeting of fate. Of <laughs> things just all falling together in the right time. I was on a flight to Milwaukee to adopt my pet chinchilla, Ferris. <laughs> the flight had to be diverted in Kansas City to offer an unruly passenger that was sitting next to me because he was setting off the smoking alarm in the laboratory. Oh, gosh, smokers. I mean, really. And then he was being arrested. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So I was watching out the window and saw him being taken off on the tarmac and this handsome guy next to me, I, I felt him staring, you know, it was like, yeah, uh, well, well that's what was No, I, so I looked over to the seat next to me and I was like, he says, I guess his plans are up in smoke. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, I was so tickled. <laughs> So he slid over into the empty seat beside me, and we just talked the whole way to Milwaukee. Oh, when the plane landed, I thought, this guy, this guy really gets me, you know? God just arranged this. Yeah. Anyway, we got married and all that, and then he cleaned out my bank account, and then he left me for the chinchilla breeder. You know how that is, don't you, Carmen? Uh, yeah, I... Uh, so, what song can I play for you tonight to make your dreams come true? Well, um, I really love that song, Somewhere Out There, and I was hoping you could play that. Oh, uh, yes, that's a great song, Carmen, but, um, oh, we're so out of time, I think we have some more calls to make, okay? You calls are a chance for her to talk about her own life. <laughs> Thank you for joining us tonight. Our journey has been a journey. Cordelia. 